Welcome geniuses, I'm Genie, your best buddy for A-Levels. In this channel, we'll bring you to explore the secret formula behind success. Right, for our next question, they gave us two forces, which are 8 newtons, and they gave you the length of the beam, and they gave you the angle. Then they ask you to find the torque of the couple. So remember, to find the torque of the couple, you cannot simply take 8 multiplied by 0. 0.6, because the formula for the torque is the product of one of the forces and the perpendicular distance between the two. So that means you can extend the line of action of the force backwards and then you can draw this perpendicular distance. So what is this perpendicular distance? So if you use a bit of trigonometry, so you get like sine 60 is d over 0.6. So therefore your perpendicular distance d is 0.6 sine 60, right? So you take the 0.6 sine 60 and multiply by 8 and you get your moments. The other alternative that students ask me if they could resolve this force to two components. So this will be 8 sine 60, 8 cos 60. So this also will be uh, 8 sine 60, 8 cos 60. So since 8 cos 60 for both forces will pass through each other, so they will not contribute any moments, but your 8 sine 60 and 8 sine 60 are in opposite directions and they are but perpendicular distance will be 0.6. So you can also do that, but your working will be 8 sine 60 times 0.6. You get the same answer, all right? That's all for today's video. If you are interested in more genuine sharing by other geniuses, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell, ding dong. Also, if you're struggling with one or two past your questions and the March scheme just doesn't seem to help, Genie has got you covered. Feel free to let us know what question it is by filling in the Google form linked in the description below. Genius Hub will get genius teachers to fulfill your request for the solution. Genie, we'll see you next time. Bye bye.